Yo, what up boys? This is Chris from Hair Loss from Steroids coming at you from Los Angeles. Anyway, normally in videos, you know, I don't have the hat on and stuff like that. I've tried to put on a little nicer clothes for the videos to be more trustworthy or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm just wearing this hat because I got a little case of uh, bed head here. You can see everything is like pretty well and good and stuff like that. Anyway, I wanted to tell you something about um, that I came across that actually in the past about going on five weeks now that I've been using. And as you can see from the title of the video, it helps minoxidil absorb. And what it is, is a micro needle. Let me see if I can get this up here. We have uh, HD now. Let's see if we can get that in there. Can you guys see the needles? Anyway, this little thing that I have, each of these needles is about what or it is 1.5 millimeters and it just like little little let me see if i can get that yeah you see the little spikes in there okay sorry i thought we could really get that in there pretty good maybe we will it's the mi it's a micro needle and what it does is help whatever you're putting on topically whether it be on your face in our case the hairline and the crown absorb a lot better because what it does is make little, little, little incisions, painless, no blood, about, in this case, 1.5 millimeter incisions um, so that whatever you're putting on can better penetrate the skin and get better get down to where it needs to be. In this case, the hair follicle. And that that is actually significantly pretty far down. Now, a lot of people, women especially, are using this kind of stuff for skin care, um, on the skin and even on the hairline or wherever you're going to rub it. It stimulates collagen production. So this thing has a role in anti-aging and people are finding out that it's actually pretty good now that there's some commercial, affordable com commercial versions available. So what I've been doing in short is basically using this needle before I put on the minoxidil. The instructions come with it. One, two, three, four one two three four and then diagonal one two three four one two three four so basically that's that's what the deal is there and then i put on of course you know it the stuff that's uh magical out there right now lipogene after and it has the azelaic acid and that's that's even wonderful too i think the carrier in this formula lipogene is very good so that alone seems to penetrate the skin pretty well but with this in the past five weeks or so i have noticed some results and um pretty much if you know if my hair is not going anywhere that's a result but i'll tell you what i did notice um it's going to be hard to get it in here but i do have some peach fuzz growing here now Obviously, that peach fuzz isn't going to become like, you know, thick, coarse hair. But it tells me one thing because, I've again, I've been at this for about 10 years or so. Whenever I'm using a product, and in this case, minoxidil, and in the past, minoxidil too, and I've gotten just kind of like new hairs growing where they weren't before, uh, that's a sign of something good. And what it's a sign of actually is on the rest of your scalp, this stuff is really working. So I'm not measuring these results per se by the, the new little hairs that are kind of meaningless on the hairline and a little up top too. I'm not, me I'm not like measuring, that's not what I'm talking about. That is a sign that it's working all over. And especially the areas that I'm, I've been using the, uh, the derma needle here. The micro needle, excuse me. So I got a link below to the exact needle I'm using, and I, and it's it's affordable. And I I would definitely pick it up, man. Like it's um it can it can only help, and um you know usually I like to use things for about four months before I you know give a recommendation either up or down for you guys. But um this thing has been working, and again that's I'm basing it on the hair that's grown in, and then another thing too that hey, maybe you will put more stock into this too. Um, I'm losing less hair in the shower. And now that has really decreased ever since I got on Lipo Game, you know, several, several, several months ago. But now it's, it's, it's like a lot less. And I made this observation a handful of times because I say in the shower, I would probably lose about 25, 30 hairs. They're hard to count, but I can just tell with how much is on my hand. Now, that's if I shower every day. 
lately, or just, I mean, over the past five weeks or something, I guess there was uh, about six or seven times when I didn't shower every day, I showered every other day. So that's about 48 hours in between. And usually, with a 48 hour in between kind of, um, you know, window there, I'll lose about twice as much air. Because um, rather than 30, it's going to be 60. Because rather than showering 24 hours, it's 48 hours, so it's double the hair. Now, what I've noticed in each and every occasion since I've been using the Derma Needle, that hair loss has been no more than 30. So I really, I'm really, I put stock, a lot of stock into that too. Because one, at least for me, that's where, if, there's, that's where hair falls out for me is in the shower. It's not in the pillow. It's not, if I pull on it, yeah, it will too. But, um, you know, that's kind of the measurement of like, the rate of hair loss, at least from in my case. So I've been losing about half as less. And I'm just, I'm throw that out there tentatively. Pretty much the signs are that it's helping this stuff get down. Lipocan's got a good carrier, but if you're using the generic minoxidil, you know, Kirkland, um, you know, who knows how good the carrier is in that thing, you know what I'm saying? So, because it seems to sit on the top of your head and it's oily and like, unlike Lipocaine, it doesn't dry and stuff like that. Unlike Spectral and Lipocaine, which that's good too, it just doesn't have the azelaic acid. It doesn't dry as well, but you know, I've been using Lipo gain in the morning, going about my day, the oily stuff more often than I at night. And I think, um, yeah, I just think the whole program is going a little better. And again, go to Hair Loss from Steroids if you want to see everything that, that I'm running like that. So, you know, this stuff is actually, it is FDA approved, at least the dimensions on this thing. Like not, this exact one may not have direct FDA approval. It's a I'm not going to say it's a knockoff because it's very good, but it's a clone of the more expensive ones that do the exact same thing. And, um, yeah, 192 needles in this guy, each 1.5 milliliters long, millimeters long, excuse me, and um, it's going to help whatever you put on your skin penetrate the skin better. And uh, it's significant if you're trying to protect your hair follicles with, um, you know, azelaic acid to kill the DHT and uh, minoxidil to, you know, give some life to the hair follicle because it's down deep. Hair follicles are down deep. Now, this this is also used, um, women and men use the, the derma roller micro needle for acne too. And that's kind of more of a surface thing. I know a lot goes on below the surface, but it's not needing to like go as far down as the hair follicle. So I do recommend the 1.5 millimeter one when you're using this on your skin, they're like little pricks, okay? Not, not anything that you're gonna wince at. If it is, you're doing it too hard. Um, little pricks, there's a little bit of redness after your skin gets used to it. I recommend only once a day. There's a whole, um, not very long, but here's the instruction thing that comes with it. Uh, it gives you your precautions and stuff like that. But this was the new spa one. Here's the thing it came in. And the nice little holder it's in here too. So I would say once a day, don't push down, just get used to it. You'll know after you use it once how hard you can push and you can't push. Uh, a little redness after, uh, no itching, no like inflammation. I suggest once a day, I suppose you could do more than that, but at least for the first week or two, you should prep your skin to it because it is little micro, um, you know, abrasions to the skin that get, get down below. So no blood, nothing like that. But, um, you know, 